this election will not come out peacefully. John Mahama is going to win the election. It is not going to throw lives falling. Aha, I will bring for radio. Your course was the about to announce and some other brand new. In Ebra Akawa, in him is a chance to come and go to Abba. Now he is going to make money. Then so as of for any a deal for any course was the income share Ebra. We must course was the age now the age now. We be no as a son and no akase income share. We share free last year. Ede be nina and income share. We share as a film. Eh, we share the about to nina. We must be no as a son. Do be a age now. Be a age now. Now we a prophet Elijah Kufiken. Ya beka ya mwa mu follow ben for radio de asha se no ya de ni videos ni bi brem a ni kom se nyina no na ewo president a na se candidate na ekọ edema no o se oda so jina do jina do be di kunim no ono na be di kunim o se nyankopon se san ahwe e kyen ekọ to abai enko du on the nine for mo baba ni nwie no de na do be di kunim no a o ka na asem e free last year de ba no no ono na akoso aside den e di kunim ha yo ben for radio Prophet Elijah Kofi King. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord for yet another session to speak to the nations of the world concerning the month of December, what God has for the nations of the world in the month of December. And the Spirit of God said, this election on the 7th of December, the Spirit of God said, John Mahama is going to win the election. The NDC is going to win the election and i gave this prophecy way back in 2023 and i narrated the vision i saw with the angels of the lord in the vision and whatever they told me if you go and search on fire one tv you will find the prophecy it is there if you also go to search on Kofi global tv on youtube you also find it i said it before and i'm saying it again nothing has changed john mahama is going to win the election on the 7th of december but the spirit of god said it is not going to be easy it is not going to be easy they have to be vigilant and they have to fight to ensure that the election is not rigged because i've also prophesied and i've spoken about the t3 aspect that was last year 2023 I spoke about it in 2024. Earlier this year also, I have spoken about it. There is going to be free And it is up to them to ensure that they put able men in the right places to ensure that the election is not rigged. The Spirit of God said, concerning the Ghana presidential election, I saw guns were being fired. I saw lives falling and souls being lost. I saw blood being shed in the process. And that says the Lord, truth and honesty, truth and honesty. Without truth and honesty, this election will not come out peacefully. And the truth and honesty the Spirit of God is speaking about is connected to the Electoral Commission and its officers. It is connected to the Electoral Commission and its officers if they refuse to embrace truth and honesty they will deprive this beloved nation of the lord ghana of its peace and its unity truth and honesty is a key word and i stand in this highly exalted altar of fire nation arena ministries and with my hands lifted up i decree and i declare that by the power invested in me from the most high there will be truth and there will be honesty and whoever will rise against truth and honesty may the lord god almighty expose them may the lord god almighty expose them and may the judgment of the lord strike them without favor and without mercy whoever whoever will stand in the way of truth and honesty because of their selfish needs and their selfish gains to collect money and deprive the nation of the rightfully elected president and parliamentarians and will push the nation into chaos and calamity and catastrophe may the judgment of the lord pursue you instantly not tomorrow may the judgment of the lord pursue you instantly not tomorrow 
May the judgment of the Lord pursue you instantly and not tomorrow. As I decree it, so shall it be. As I decree it, so shall it be. So shall it be. The Spirit of God said, the truth of the matter is, my son, the NPP are determined to rig and steal the election. And if they succeed in doing that, that says the Lord, peace will be missing in the country and innocent lives will be lost. And we have prayed. And the God of heaven who answers prayer has heard our prayer. And whoever will make an attempt to rig the election, they will sleep and they will not wake up. On the day of the election, the Lord God will paralyze them. On their way to the police station, they will be involved in an accident. We decree and in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, we decree and in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, peace shall prevail and the election will not be rigged. The rightfully elected candidates will be announced. And all the macho men and all the officers of the law who will be compromised and will collect money and will want to rig the election on their way to the police station, may they be involved in an accident. May they be involved in an accident. May they be paralyzed. May they become so indisposed that they will not be able to get to the police station in the name of Jesus. And these are some of the reasons why a few years back, it was announced that no prophet should prophesy in Ghana. And if you prophesy in Ghana, you will be invited by the police to come and answer why you have prophesied. Why you have said what you have said. And so much fear was placed on the church and was placed on the prophetic ministry in the nation of Ghana. And the reason is because the whole nations of the world, Ghana is the headquarters of the prophetic mantle and the prophetic ministry. Ghana is the headquarters of the prophetic grace. And we don't only see, and we don't only hear, and we don't only prophesy. We also know how to pray dangerous prayers. We also know how to pray dangerous prayers. And any politician, any politician, any politician who will remove money and give money to tax, to steal ballot boxes on the 7th of December, we crush them by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach, the son of the living God. Peace shall prevail in Ghana. And the right candidates who have won their various parliamentary seats and presidential seats will be announced. And Ghana will become great. Greater than it has ever become. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Amen and amen.